I'm working on some last minute baby shower things. And um, <laughs> I went to get my eyebrows done at Walmart. I know by myself, I told Justin, I was like, I have to go. Like, I don't think you should leave work to go to Walmart with me, but I'm not gonna have time tomorrow before the baby shower. <sighs> so I went over there and usually I have them do my eyebrows like very thin because they grow really fast and they get really thick. And I have them do it very thin, so I'm not back like two times a week, you know? But this time the girl, I think she had like a cold or something. She was like coughing and hacking. And like, I was freaking out because, you know, she's like over me doing my eyebrows and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot get sick. She had like a mask on, but so she didn't take very long at all. She gave me the mirror and I realized she just cleaned it up basically. Like she didn't make them thinner like I like. And I was gonna be like, um, because I noticed she was just a little off, like, cause I can't get the oils they put on after they wax, cause I'm allergic to it. I just use alcohol, she must put oil on my skin and stuff. And I was like, she doesn't really feel good, you can tell. So I wasn't gonna like act like a diva or anything, but I kinda wanted to be like, can you take a little more off, <laughs> you know? But then I was like, I don't know if she should be standing over me any longer, cause she was like coughing and hacking so much. I was like, I cannot get sick, so I was like, whatever. I'll just be back next week, I guess. Um, yeah, so that happened. Um, some of you guys have said stuff about uh, like the area we're in um, and like tater tot, what we're gonna do. And some people have asked about the moving thing because we were gonna move in a year. Right now, the housing market in Houston is not good for sellers. Um, building our new house, we will obviously have to sell this house first because when we bought this house, we got it for like dirt. It, we stole this house basically, like dirt cheap. Um, somebody started building it and then couldn't afford to finish it and it fell through. And then the builder couldn't get it sold. It was an inventory home that couldn't get sold. They stopped working on it. Um, it was pretty much almost all done. They just hadn't done some last minute things. So they wouldn't let us change much like carpet and stuff, that's what we've had to do it ourselves, um, like putting in floors ourselves and stuff. But I was able to negotiate our appliances in and blinds for the whole house and stuff. And we got the house for dirt cheap. It's a good house, we're very blessed. It's not our dream home. And when we bought this house, we just had our two fur babies were our rabbit and our chihuahua. And our chihuahua, our rabbit was like, 10 or 12 years old when it passed away. Um, it was having brain trouble and we did like everything we could. We were getting steroid injections for for um, our bunny and we finally had to let Lucky go. And then shortly after that, our 20 year old Chihuahua, um, they suspected she'd had cancer, but every time they did something to her, like seven other things went wrong. So she started having that and then she had a stroke and we had to put her down and it was incredibly hard. But when we moved in here, those are the only pets we had. Um, so as we got Amber and as we got Ralph, there's not a lot of room in the backyard for them to play. The, the rooms in the corners and like they're, the rooms are decent size, but like the way the house is laid out, they hit the corners of the wall a lot of times when they're playing and we've had to patch up corners and stuff, especially from Ralph's 100 pound ass like banging into the wall. Um, so the big part of the reason we were gonna move was for the dogs. Um, like a bigger house with like more openness in case they get crazy, they're not gonna like damage anything and a bigger yard. And we went and we found a floor plan in, in the neighborhood we want and stuff, but we have to sell this house first so we have our down payment money and we're gonna get so much back from this house we're able to get the new house and start building it. But right now, it's not just our neighborhood. Our neighborhood, the houses used to sell in two weeks. Right now, they're not selling at all. People's houses have been on the markets for months. Um, well, a past couple months. Um, and the, it's like when we started looking, things just went <laughs> And then it's not just our neighborhood, it's like a lot of people I know all over Houston's neighborhoods, the houses just aren't selling. 
and so it's not a good time and we don't know when it's going to bounce back you know now if you're looking to buy a house in houston and you don't need to sell one first it's a great time to buy a house but selling is not a great time and that is kind of something we have to do in order to move um we do live in a gated community it's kind of tucked back out of the way not many people know about it um and the gates are closed 24 7. so our actual in our neighborhood is really safe um once i have the baby i will be like if i have to go to target i'm driving farther out to target to where we're moving um it's my errands are gonna like be going farther out because right now i've talked about this before in texas if you go to a class and you get licensed by the state you can conceal carry a weapon a gun um i do conceal carry i don't know i talked to justin about this i don't think i would feel comfortable carrying a concealed weapon on my body and carrying our child around if that makes sense um if like we go out as a family and justin's concealed carrying i'm holding the baby that's fine but i don't feel safe while like when i conceal it's in a holster and stuff and it's safe i just don't feel safe carrying my baby with a weapon on me if that makes sense a lot of people do that's fine that's them i don't feel safe about it so that's why um <clears throat> once we have the baby i won't be running to the target in my neighborhood or to the walmart you know with the baby i'll just be going farther out so i just want to like tell you guys that because I know like all the stuff you'll see in my vlogs is pre it's pretty it's scary to even like live over here but the thing about Houston is it has pockets of bad areas and you can move into an area like we did and it can be a nice area and then within a year or two it can get really shitty and then <clears throat> in a couple of years that moves out and becomes nice again it's like you can't really you're not really safe no matter where you know you go because there's always a chance that like stuff can get pushed in like bad stuff can get pushed into the area you're in it's just kind of the way things go a while a long while ago not a long while ago but not that long ago actually the heights which is like a really like oh everyone wants to live there now neighborhood the heights in the houston used to be really bad and dangerous and now it's like super like everyone wants to move there family friendly safe um and this everything from the heights that was kind of like bad and scary kind of got pushed into like our area and areas around us so it's just like by the chance by the time we moved like plan to move it could be totally moved out by the time tater talk comes along it could be gone like the bad stuff but you just you don't know because that's the way houston is it's like like just bad areas move and shift around all the time and they turn into good areas they're safe then they're not it's just the we live in the fourth largest city in the united states it's just it is what it is dizzy today so i found a use for the old halloween candy i had to go buy some more candy the thing that didn't cost money it wasn't the games it was having to go buy prizes for the winners but for the diaper poop game we're gonna play I was like, I'll just use our old Halloween candy and I'll buy some more. And I'm gonna make like five, I'm making like five gift bags full of candy as the, like, just in case there's more than one winner. I'm so dizzy right now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the prize I came up with for the diaper game. If you don't know what that is, it's where you like melt chocolate into a diaper and people have to guess what the poop is. I did nine to make it hard so that there weren't more than like five winners um but yeah that's what i'm working on now i am so dizzy for some reason right now i think i should go sit down i've like drank enough water and ate today and stuff i guess it's just the hormones i was sitting here filling these candy bags like oh oh my gosh but yeah yesterday i went out and bought more candy just to make sure i had enough to fill these bags but yeah, that's like the the thing about the games. It's not necessarily like coming up with cheap games. It's coming up with um, prizes um, is what was stressing me out. And I will not be, I don't know, this is just like a little tidbit about me. I absolutely hate going to baby showers and playing the freaking safety pin game. Are any of y'all with me on that? I hate that game where it's like, if you cross your legs, you lose your safety pin. If you say baby, you lose your safety pin. 
It's just like, I walk in and I'm like, I automatically do whatever it is to get rid of it because I find the game very awkward. I don't like it. <laughs> I just hate that game. I told my sister, I was like, that game is banned from my baby shower. <laughs> but yeah, I'm working on the poop game stuff now, prizes and stuff. So tomorrow before I leave, I'm gonna do the poopy diapers. We're at Justin's work having to sharpen 30 pencils. <laughs> I cleaned the house and then I made it a mess again. Um, trying to get everything ready for this baby shower tomorrow. If you guys see these pencils at Dollar Tree, don't freaking buy them if you have an electric pencil sharpener because we almost broke Justin's work one. These were terrible to sharpen. They're so janky. So I have that. Then I have all the game sheets for people to like play the game. I got all the prizes ready to go. I got her gift ready to go. Um, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do this tomorrow. Okay, so I have all the, <laughs> the diapers ready to go with the candies in them. I'm gonna melt them on the plate and then wipe it on the diaper. There's gonna be 10 of them and here's the cheat sheet. And I have a list of things to remember, like don't forget the cheat sheet. But yeah, there's 10 candies. I have six prizes in case people guess, but I really don't think people are going to guess all those. I hope not. Jeez. So I get to microwave all these tomorrow. I'm going to end the vlog now. I am so tired. I'm like so, so tired. I just put a mitt in my mouth because I'm nauseous. Terror Tot is not like Mexican food. The first time I had it was kind of before they got me um, a medicine that helped. Now I know it's, it, it doesn't, no, tater tots is not like Mexican food. So, um, anyway, I want to go to bed. I'm going to end the vlog now because I need to edit this and have it uploaded and on auto-publish because now we were supposed to meet at this place at noon. It's like a party room rented out at a restaurant and then we're having like appetizers and they said we could come in an hour before, but... Um, her friend is like, no, let's show up 1145. It takes me 30 minutes to get over there. And so I got to get ready. Anyways, I got to go to bed. I have to figure out what time I need to wake up in the middle of the night and take my medicine. So I'm not too drowsy to drive. I'm ready for this to be over. I'm excited for my friend, but I'm so ready for this to be over. I am just like, yeah, I'm going to go shower because everyone's like, you're glowing. I'm like, no, like literally my hair and my face is greasy all the time now. I feel like a grease ball constantly. Like, I washed my hair yesterday. It's just, I, I'm like so greasy. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, so I am going to go to bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.